On Sunday afternoon, a bipartisan group of senators consisting of 10 Democrats and 10 Republicans announced they had reached a breakthrough agreement on gun violence. Democrat Senator Chris Murphy and Republican Senator John Cornyn co-led the group of 20 senators and made their announcement in a joint statement. On Twitter, Murphy explained that the bill will include major funding for states to pass red flag laws to help keep weapons out of the hands of individuals who present a danger to the public or themselves. The agreement also seeks to invest billions in mental health and school safety, ban convicted domestic abusers from purchasing guns, add a federal law against gun trafficking of illegal weapons, and create an enhanced background check for gun buyers under the age of 21. In response to the news, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer called the agreement a good first step to ending the persistent inaction to the gun violence epidemic in America. Schumer promised to place the bill on the floor as soon as possible for a vote. The announcement coincides with a national weekend of anti-gun rallies, including a rally outside the National Mall in Washington, D.C. But conservative political researcher Tom Jones said the bill should be a red flag for voters going into the midterm elections. I think it's deeply disappointing that Republican leadership decided to get in league with the Democratic conference in the Senate to put together a gun control bill. Um, you know, that should be a huge red flag for Republican voters going into the fall. Um, you know, Democrats are going to come back for more. So, you know, just because they're framing this as a modest deal doesn't mean this is the last bite at the apple. Visit FISM.TV news for more content.